You might slip and fall in sin and in error. كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمَ خَطَّاءٍ النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم says All the son of Adam are sinners. You might sin after Ramadan. However, the believer doesn't abandon the path of righteousness and the obligations. And then he falls completely into sin and transgression. No. You see, there are some people when they fall into their evil and old habits after Ramadan, sin and transgression, they give up. They completely give up in the mercy of Allah and the forgiveness of Allah. And this one sin, a shaitan whispers to them that you've destroyed yourself. You've destroyed your state and you're no longer a good person. You've just finished 30 days of Ramadan and here you are returning to your sins and your old habits. And the brother or the sister give up and now they will transgress and sin for 11 months of the year until next Ramadan. As though they have been granted another Ramadan or guaranteed another Ramadan. This is a wrong mentality, my brothers and sisters in Islam. After Ramadan, you will surely fall into sin and in error. But do not abandon the path of righteousness, the path of goodness. Do not abandon at tawbah Do not abandon seeking Allah's forgiveness. I give you an example. You see, I'm wearing a white, uh, clean cloth. If I walk outside with this clean white cloth, and I was to walk in some dirt, and mud was to come on my white clothing, act like a stain, uh, what would I do? What does a person do? Do you just say, oh, you know, my clothes has gone dirty, and so now you smother your entire dress in dirt? Or are you going to go to the nearest tap and get some water and wash it? Because it's just a tiny dot, just get rid of it, right? And so my brothers and sisters in Islam, the idea is when you fall into sin after Ramadan, after having been cleansed from your sins with a new pure white crystal polished heart, if you fall into a sin, don't drown into sin now. Come out, be quick to repent. And turn to Allah and seek His forgiveness and seek His mercy. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, the next obligatory prayer you're going to pray, that wipes away sins. One of the rewards of the obligatory prayers is that it wipes away sins. Every obligatory prayer wipes away sins from that obligatory prayer to the one before it. One astaghfirullah from a sincere, honest heart will wipe away your sins. When you make wudu, that will wipe away sins as well. When you say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi in the morning a hundred times, it will wipe away sins even if they were the size of the foam of the ocean. When you say after the prayers Subhanallah 33, Alhamdulillah 33 times, Allahu Akbar 33 times, and then you say, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. It will wipe away your sins, even if they were the size of the foam of the ocean. Look at the opportunity that Allah Azza wa Jal gives us during the day and during the night to wipe our sins away. So if you fall into sin after Ramadan, don't give up and believe that you're hopeless and that you'll never be able to give up your your bad and evil habits, and then you go all out and drown in sin and abandon righteousness and goodness and tell yourself, خلص, next Ramadan, I'll make a serious commitment. Don't be fooled. These are the tricks and the games of a shaitan. Rather, the believer after Ramadan, if he falls in a sin, he is quick to repent and to come back to Allah. And I told you, the next obligatory prayer will deal with that sin. The sin will be wiped away. Don't worry. But the main thing after Ramadan is do not abandon the path of righteousness and the path of worship and the path of goodness. So we need to monitor ourselves during this period now after Ramadan.